Dallas City Council members say they are ready for TxDOT to move forward with plans to tear down a critical freeway overpass downtown. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. The I-345 connects Interstate 75 from the north to Interstate 45 to the south. It is aging and needs repair. Activists have asked for surface streets to replace it and reconnect Deep Ellum with downtown. TxDOT has several plans, but it is pushing a plan to move the highway below ground and cap it with something like a deck park. Fox Wars' Lori Brown is live at Dallas City Hall. Hi, Lori. Hi, Clarice. After 15 years of studying what to do about Interstate 345 today, Dallas City Council members appeared ready to give TxDOT the green light to tear the freeway down and replace it by building it in a trench similar to US 75. If you flipped this discussion on its head, and if TxDOT wanted to build a new one mile highway through any one of our neighborhoods, we would all join together and we would we'd throw every policy we have as city staff to stop it. As the 50-year-old Interstate 345 nears the end of its lifespan, Dallas City Councilman Chad West argued it's time to think differently about urban design. But we as a body can't seem to get our minds wrapped around a removal today that would restitch neighborhoods, create new housing, create new economic development. He argues when 345 is torn down, it should be replaced with a boulevard, not another six-lane interstate. Detroit just got $100 million to take down a highway with the, of that grant money, and there are $2 million planning grants available from the Reconnecting Communities grant. And staff confirmed on Monday we did not reach out to find out if we would be eligible for one of those grants. But TxDOT said examples of other cities removing freeways are not comparable to the stretch of highway between downtown and Deep Ellum connecting US 75 to I-45. The Detroit example, it's I-375 that terminates at a waterway. It doesn't connect to anything else. Several city council members expressed their desire to finally make a decision next week on the nearly decade-long discussion, rejecting the boulevard concept and supporting TxDOT's proposal to put the interstate below grade in a trench similar to Highway 75. You just cannot just tear down a freeway. Just wait. I mean, if this thing actually was a boulevard, how many more cars would literally be speeding in front of people's homes? Council members also asked about the option to keep the interstate elevated. TxDOT explained the trench with potential debt caps above it for real estate and streets would be better for communities on either side. It is very difficult to get past that that perceived barrier, if you, if you will. Um, we don't build a lot of elevated freeways today. The hope is one day, you know, you don't notice the freeways underneath you. Dallas City Council members are set to cast a vote next week that will give TxDOT their support for one of the options. From there, TxDOT will move forward with an environmental plan and best case scenario construction could start in five years.